What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dominic Rich. So as you can tell, Liverpool are now linked to Red Bull Salzburg striker Patson Daka. The Zambian international is 21 years old and he has been playing for Zambia since he was 16. So he's a generational type talent, you know what I mean? And he has flourished at Red Bull Salzburg ever since the departure of the future great Erling Haaland to Borussia Dortmund. Because before that, no one knew who Pat Sadaka was, basically. He was largely unknown. He played for Salzburg, you know, because in the Champions League last season, I think he made six appearances. He played in every single game. He played against Liverpool twice, too. But he didn't really shine that much. I think he scored once during the, the group stages. And he featured in qualifiers as well in the, in the past. So... Pat Sadaka, even at 21 years old, has a lot of experience under his belt. But last season was indeed his breakout season where he picked up 24 goals in the Austrian Bundesliga. And as I said, in the absence of their previous prolific striker, Erling Haaland. So it's just like a factory over there at Salzburg, man. One player leave, another player come through. And you know who else Liverpool got from Salzburg? Takumi Minamino. So they already has that relationship established. They found out that Minamino had a release clause and they activated it. Eight million, eight million for very cheap. Pat Sadaka right now is valued at 20 million euros. But it seems like Liverpool might be looking for another cut price deal because 20 million? Mm -hmm. I don't know if Liverpool are going to pay 20 million. Seriously, for a striker. They already have Firmino. They have Minamino who has been deployed in that position. And I don't know if they're going to pay that much. So they're probably trying to moot up a deal around 12 to 15 million euros or something for Pat Sendaka, who did score twice against Liverpool in a recent friendly against RB Leipzig. The match ended in a 2-2 draw. Pat Sendaka scored a brace and he has impressed. He has impressed Jürgen Klopp. And Klopp wants him. According to reports... According to reports out of Zambia and a South African news outlet, I haven't seen any, you know, anything from any of the big journalists on Twitter or anything yet. I haven't seen anything. This is just a story that people have been running with. You know, people run with these things. But I saw it and I figured, look, it could, it could be for real. It could be for real because scored twice against Liverpool. He banged them in for fun in the Austrian Bundesliga last season. And the man has a lot of talent. The man, it's apparent the man has a lot of talent. But the thing is, the thing is, another factor, another thing to factor in, he's a Zambian international. He's an African player. So he's 21 years old. If you bring him to the club, he'll most likely come, you know, or go to Liverpool on a long-term transfer, five-year, four-year transfer, right? You have to factor in the African Cup of Nations as well. You already have Salah, Keita, you have Mane at the club. They're all African players. And if you add another one in Patsendaka, that'll be four players. Potentially, you can lose for an African Cup of Nations tournament. That is if Zambia does qualify, or let's say Guinea does qualify. It's not guaranteed that these countries would qualify for the AFCON, but... You have to factor these things in as well. But would he make a great signing for Liverpool? Do they need him right about now? He would make a great signing, but I don't think Liverpool need him, though, when you really think about it. Because if he's playing every week at Salzburg, why go to Liverpool to basically warm the bench? Or maybe, who, who knows? Maybe he won't warm the bench. Maybe he would be on the bench and then he gets an opportunity and he's scoring them for fun and then Firmino can't get a place in the team. You never know. You never know with these things. And I tell people that all the time. I tell people that all the time. You know what I mean? So, Divock Origi is there. What are you going to do with Origi? Play him on the left wing? Maybe. Maybe. Takumi Minomino is there. What are you going to do with him? You know what I'm saying? So, there's going to be a lot of competition for places in the team. But it doesn't hurt to strengthen your bench. It doesn't hurt at all. So, my thoughts, I think he, he's a good player. He's a good player. I haven't seen much of him, but I've, been, I've known of, of Pat Sadaka before he played a friendly against Liverpool, before he even, you know, came to prominence. I knew about this player, Pat Sadaka. 
A lot of you guys are probably just hearing about Pat Sedaka because of the whole links to Liverpool and all, but I've known about this player for some time. So I think he would make a good side, and he, he's a good player. A lot of really, really good players come out of the Austrian League. They go to the German Bundesliga. But is the step up to Liverpool too big of a move for Pat Sedaka right now? Maybe, maybe. Maybe moving to the Bundesliga, the German Bundesliga first would be a better option for Pat Sedaka, in my opinion. At 21, you know what I'm saying? You got to prove yourself in a, you know, prove yourself in Germany first and then who knows what could happen after. That would be a better transition, in my opinion. I think the Premier League might, might be too big of a leap for a player like Pat Sedaka. But he would make a great signing. I could be wrong, but... These are just my thoughts. These are just my thoughts. So, guys, that's just a quick update. Let me know what you think about your links to this new Red Bull Salzburg Wonder Kid. Let's call him a Wonder Kid because he's only 21 years old. Let me know, let me know what you think. If Liverpool would get him or they won't. Let me know if you think Liverpool are being too cheap right now and they can't afford any player. They, they, you know, they haven't brought in Thiago. They've been linked to Ishmael Assar. And they've also been linked to Pat Sedaka. But Liverpool also needs cover in the back there for Dejan Lovren, who left and went to um to Zenit St. Petersburg. So, oh man, what's it going to be, guys? One signing made for Liverpool this season. Costa Simicas, backup left back for Andy Robertson. Do you guys think that more signings are coming in for Liverpool? All the other teams are bulking up. What are Liverpool doing in terms of bringing in new players to straighten their bench in order to successfully attack, attack the title, the league title. Not defend, not defend. Note that, not defend. But guys, everybody, I'm Nick Rich. Thanks for watching another video. Subscribe if you're new. Smash the thumbs up button. And until next time, peace out. Rich Squad.